So Phil, what do gay couples need to know about Social Security? They need to know that now that same-sex marriage has been legalized, that these couples no longer are restricted to benefits of single individuals, but they get all the benefits that married couples are entitled to. So why don't you tee up some of those for us? If one of the two uh, partners is a low earner, that partner can potentially get a spousal benefit off the other partner's work record. But I think the most important benefit to consider is the uh, widow's benefit. Certainly one of the two is gonna be a higher earner than the other. And when that higher earner passes away, the lower earner will, will inherit the higher earner's social security benefit as a widow's benefit. The other thing that you should be aware of is that these couples, if they have children, can also get benefits for their school-aged children, which is a terrific benefit that couples have always had under social security. One other thing we want to alert people to is that many people may have filed for benefits in a state that didn't recognize same-sex marriage and they had those benefits denied. We want to make sure that they go back to Social Security and see if there may still be some benefits that they're entitled to so that they don't leave anything on the table. Absolutely. I'm Larry Kotlikoff. And I'm Phil Moeller. And we're here to help you get what's yours from Social Security.